According to Zakali Aluvega, the head of cooperative affairs at Seno, Uganda, the houses were constructed as part of the compensation package for some families who were affected by the construction of the feeder oil pipeline. He said other residents opted to be given cash in order to resettle elsewhere. Lubega says that the affected persons who have been staying in their old houses will soon vacate them to pave way for the construction of the pipeline. The State Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Peter Lokoris, asked the leadership of Chikuba District to follow the required physical planning regulation to make the area modern. To guide our people on future constructions here, we have to set the standard. The standard has been set. It has to be that standard or something better than that. It may not be the first, it may not be the first tract, but due gradually, we hope our people will adhere to, to, to the advice. And then in the end, it is the community that will benefit. Mark Pinkson, the vice chairperson of Senok Uganda, said they are committed to work in an environment free of conflict. Of the fertile house harvest, we engaged in crop farming and the principle of info resettlement was tried to ensure that the house harvests are resettled upon the remaining parcels of land after land acquisition were feasible. Local leaders said they are willing to support projects and programs that spur development. Some of the beneficiaries say they are pleased to be resettled in better homes. Uh, ventilated improved pit toilet there and it has got also a solar panel on it compared to my former house which I had. My former house was a semi-permanent house built of bones and mud. <laughs>